Hello everybody, welcome back to another technical tutorials and demo. In this video, showcase how to increase demand on resiliency of a micro-profile application. In effect, this is the last part of the micro-profile application technical demo. So my name is Daniel o. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. Let's just get started uh, with this demo. In order to add the fault tolerance as a part of resiliency, your micro-profile application, you can use uh, a couple of the uh, annotation like a timeout, retrial, fallback, and circuit breaker, and a bulkhead and asynchronous to add resiliency. So let's try to uh, see uh, how it works in an actual application. Here's my demo application, microprofile dash for dash tolerance maven project. Let's try go into each uh, Java class. The so copy Java is the uh, uh, just entity uh, Java class uh, with some couple of entity like ID and name and country of origin and price. This is your JAXRS REST endpoint application provider context root, and this is a CDI bin uh, to deal with with the the uh, uh, dependent injection uh, expose uh, copy risk and availability, and we uh, print the default variable to make a copy risk. Uh, such as Colombia and Bolivia and Vietnam with some uh, the price and ID and also we gotta put the, the availability like uh, 20 or 30 etc. So this is the actual the resource file to deal with the, your RESTful API and then we're gonna add inject uh, the CDI bin here and uh, some couple of the uh, default value of like a uh, uh, fail ratio is a 0.5 and then the first uh, uh, method is a, a return to copy wrist and then we gotta put the retry annotation with the retry on runtime exception and the max retry is four and uh, we gotta add um, uh, intentional failure uh, to uh, check it out uh, how it works this uh, for tolerance and resiliency so let's try to find out how may, uh, maybe failure method implements. So we're gonna uh, make a failure uh, uh, with the 50% of your invocation here and go back to uh, the, the copy uh, the method here and the other uh, copy detail method that we can uh, put in the parameter uh, such as ID, but only different thing is that there is no full tolerance annotation here, which means that you gotta fail. You no need you you don't have any retry uh, uh, functionality with the micro profile. And let's try to build this application and deploy uh, it on top of the running JWS EAP with the micro profile patch. Now you can see here your artifact is deployed. Just uh, and then here is the JWS EAP uh, console uh, uh, to check it out your log, uh, logs and then uh, just try to uh, access the endpoint like a coffee. We just see that and then now you see uh, the return result and successful result invocation number one, number zero, and returning successfully. Try to make some time, make a couple of time, you got a failure here because of 50% will be failure intentionally, but there's no error for end user perspective because the full tolerance of by micro profile uh, retried and so in the end, end user uh, never failed, but the maximum retry is uh, four, which means uh, you got more than four times of failure, you have uh, errors for end user perspective and now the uh, you try to uh, reload that page now you got a success pool but when you try to access the uh, default endpoint like uh, using id parameter and now uh, you got a failure but immediately you got error message like an exception without no retry because we uh, didn't add any annotation here so another uh, capability uh, for resiliency is a fallback with a timeout annotation. So we got a failure, the fallback is not a required functionality of your resiliency, but it's good to have a function. If you add a fallback, you cannot uh, ruin the entire system because the, if you have some failure, you uh, can uh, go to the fallback recommendation. So in this case, uh, the fallback recommendation 
uh, is returned the ID one and the uh, the time hours are 250, but the maximum random uh, delay is uh, 500. So let's try to add, let's go to add an uh, accommodation here. And now you can see a couple of time uh, successful, but we got a uh, failure here, uh, more than 250 uh, millisecond delay. But in the case you can find the recommendation result, like ID1, which means that you don't have any failure as endpoint, uh, end user endpoint. But the recommendation for bell would be the popular result and a common makes sense. So let's try to a couple more time to uh, uh, how it works. And then you, know, you can find the successful or failure, but uh, whenever you got failure, but uh, fallback annotation represent a recommendation a result uh, based on ID1. Okay, move on. Next, the resiliency is a socket breaker. So we just add a CDI injection here, get a value method. Let's go to CDI beans and we add a socket breaker annotation here with the uh, we cast the threshold is four, which means uh, if you have a uh, uh, the uh, the by default circuit breaker, the failure ratio is of uh, 0.5 and the delay is of five seconds, which means you have a, a two failure uh, in the last four invocation, and then uh, the circuit breaker will be output and stay up uh, for five seconds. Because we are uh, putting the intentional failure here once again, 50% failure. So let's try to review and deploy this application on JWAS EAP and then uh, just to uh, uh, try to uh, uh, access endpoint the availability. Now you gotta see successful uh, return code 7 and let's try to work a couple of times. Okay, we got a failure here and one more time failure and two time failure and now. Uh, the next time the circuit breaker is open and it will be stay of five seconds. So the after five seconds when you retry to access that and uh, the uh, the application functionality it get on track. So in order to implement uh, this micro profile uh, capability, you need to add JBoss EAP XP micro profile uh, for tolerance API uh, in your uh, Palm XML and micro the Maven project. So thank you for watching and if you enjoyed that, please subscribe it uh, to the next valuable and technical uh, videos and demos. Have a good rest of the day.